Oh my goodness, is that what I think it is? Are we about to hop back into amnesia memories? Yes, we are. So excited. So I was looking through the comment section on the last video where I asked, should we try to touch Iki's butt, the Ixter, if you will, or should we go after a different boy and come back for Ixter? And for the most part, everybody was like, we gotta finish what we started, man. We gotta finish what we started. So... Guys, are you ready to actually touch the Ixter's butt? Because I am. Boop. There's gonna be so much stuff we've seen already. I don't know if we can goof on it that well. Oh, but we get to see our buddy again! Remember how sad it was when we were separated? When our brain places were separated? Oh, God. Breaking my heart. Breaking my dang old heart. Ano... Oh, no! The voices! Wait! Uh, Wait! Hold! Are you alive? Uh... Oh, this is bad. If they find out I killed a human, I'll get executed. Oh! Oh, you're awake! How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Uh, can you see me? Oh, thank goodness you're alive. I was really surprised. I thought, you know, maybe I <laughs> killed you? Uh... Oh, no! Uh, I'm not the least bit shady at all, really. It's not like I hit you with a blunt object, or pushed you off a cliff, or ran you over with a car. Uh, uh, so to explain who exactly I am, well, I'm just a spirit who happened to lodge himself into your car. Wait a minute! Oh my god. What if he did, though? Right? In the end of- Wait! But in the end of- Wait! But in- <sighs> But in the end of the last one, didn't I fall off a cliff? What if in the other endings, I get hit with a blunt object in the bad end or get run over with a car in the bad end? Oh my God. Oh my God, what if you're the bad guy the whole time? I was so excited for our brains to smush again and now I don't know. You're still pretty cute, though. I guess it's fine. Maybe. Nothing? No reaction to who I am or to the situation you're in now? Hey, are you really okay? You can see me, right? Oh, this is... This is what I chose last time. Or is it? I thought I chose big bug thing last time. Interesting, though. It'll tell me what I chose. Ah, oh, well, that is true, but it's amazing you're able to say something like that so calmly. You know, if you could put it a bit more nicely, I'm at least human-related. Ah. Uh, anyway, glad you can at least see me. Still, you're really calm. I thought the moment you woke up, you'd be like, Oh, where am I? Who are you? You know? Or something like that, but... Your personality didn't fly off with your memories, did it? Hmm. Oh... This is bad. Well, for now, let me explain things from the beginning. I'm Orion. I'm a... Well, I'm a spirit from a distant world. I was on my way to the human world for some business, and by accident I sort of collided with your mind. I don't understand it myself, but for some reason I'm trapped inside your soul now. Look like you lost consciousness from the impact. And, well, it's kind of hard to say, but... <laughs> looks like your memories skedaddled too! <laughs> oh, what a mess. Uh, sorry, you can go ahead and yell at me. I know I said a lot of things that probably don't make sense to you, but just say something, huh? Oh, I got it. Oh, really? I guess you did just wake up in a weird place with someone not really human talking to you. You had no choice but to believe me given the circumstances, huh? Oh, 
I'm sorry for my carelessness. I'll do anything to help you get your memories back. Besides, if I don't, I don't know that I'll be able to separate from you. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think I'm trapped inside the place where your memories used to be. Think about it like your memories were pushed out by the amount of space I take up. So if your memories were to return, then I would get pushed back out instead. There might be another solution. But aside from what I just said, nothing really comes to mind. I feel awful I made you lose your memories. Look, let's work together and try to get them back. Okay. Alright, cool. Thanks for understanding. I kind of expected a, you better start running. <laughs> I would have understood completely if you were that harsh with me. You're pretty accepting of things, huh? Kind of a mellow temperament. Might be strange to say, but I'm glad it was your mind I got stuck in. Well, I guess that's just how it is. From now on, I'll work with you as hard as I can to get your memories back. I'll do anything you need me to do, is what I want to say, but I do have some limitations. I mean, I can't interfere with the human world. I can't touch you. You can't touch me. What's more, people around us won't be able to see or hear me, so I can't investigate much for you. I also can't move in your stead. In fact, I can't move more than 10 meters away from you. I said I'd do anything, but it looks like all I can really do is cheer you on. Oh, well... It's better than having no one, right? No matter what, I'm definitely on your side. I might have pushed you on a cliff, but I'm definitely on your side. I promise it won't be like, the culprit was Orion all along. Orion, I don't trust you. Orion, I don't trust you at all. Oh my God. Thanks, happy you'd say so. Uh, well, then let's both do our best. So, you really can't remember anything? What about your name? Do you think you can at least remember your name? I'm trying to remember... If some of this stuff is different. Like the, like the conversation we're having. I'm trying to remember if he's said these things to me before. Or... If it's like... If it knows you've played before, so he's saying different things? I can't remember. I really want to go back and find out, though. Don't worry, I know my name. Yeah, hell yeah, I do. Fart Lily? Is that your name? I see. But if that's what you remembered when you thought about your name, it's probably correct. I don't know. Alright, good. Well, one step forward. Okay, then. There's no point staying here, so let's go to your world. Uh, what is this place, you ask? Well, it's hard to explain. The space between dimensions, that's really the closest description. This world has many possibilities. There exist as many parallel worlds as there are possibilities. For example, in one world you may be going to school and in another you may be just working. It's the space between those many parallel dimensions that isn't connected to any of them. To put it bluntly, right now you're suspended in the rift between worlds, but I don't know which world you came from. Oh, but any world is still a world you were in. There's no such thing as right or wrong with parallel worlds, you know. <laughs> so let's go back to the world you were in and recover your memories. There are lots of ways to do it, like talking to your friends or looking at your phone's history. Oh, but just a sec. You gotta be careful who you trust. Humans are brutal and cruel. You should only tell people you really trust about your amnesia. Otherwise, they may try to give you memories you never had. Like, you owe me 10,000 buckaroonies, so you gotta pay me back or something like that, you know? There's no way you could tell if what they said was true, right? Some horrible jerk might introduce himself as your boyfriend and take you away from your for-reals one. You might be told you don't have a job and then get fired. Or I don't know, someone with no relation to you tricks you into joining a pyramid scheme. Or maybe you'd wind up in a situation where you found yourself being shipped off overseas. Right? Think about it, it'd be terrible, right? Yeah, I see what you mean. But it's not like the police know who you are, right? In that case, what would happen to you then? If you said you had amnesia, wouldn't they force you into a hospital? You'd probably be confined to your hospital room until your memories returned. Even if you were allowed outside sometimes, for the most part, you'd be shut up inside, right? For other people, that might be okay, but for you it isn't. Your memories haven't disappeared because of any mental or physical problems. They're being pushed out by my existence. So staying home or at the hospital wouldn't help. In fact, without stimulation, you'd just get worse. Sitting around, spacing out in the hospital room without any memories would just worsen your mind. You might forget how to drink water, or how to breathe, or... 
Advice to avoid, a terrifying ending number one. Gather information. Try to actively meet people and investigate what kind of person you used to be. Who you, your family, and your relationships were, and what you were doing. Increase your knowledge, fill up that outer part of your memories. Once you do, I'm sure it'll trigger something, and the rest of your memories should just return. As that happens, I'll be pushed out and eventually be able to separate from you. It's a long shot, given our situation, but at the moment, it's the best plan we've got. Sorry, I keep talking about nothing but negative stuff. But first, I think it would be good to confide in your family. They won't believe that a spirit got stuck in your head, but they'll at least provide some information. We can think more about the plan after that. Now, let's go back to your world. The method is simple, just close your eyes and think. With no memories to influence you, whatever world you can recall is the world that you desire. Only, I think there are several worlds like that. Choose the world you feel is right. Alright guys, we're going back to Spade World so that we can touch the extra butt. I think... I think what really killed us, though, was that we called him Ixter in the first place. <laughs> when he asks, when we, like, go for a nickname, do not let me choose Ixter, because I think that was the nail in the coffin. I think that was the moment when he was like, I don't, I don't think we're dating. I don't think you're the real you. Spade world. All right, Ixter. I'm going to, I'm going to call you Ixter in my brain, a.k.a. my... My talking in the microphone self. Far Lily, are you awake? How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? A bug. Uh, you're joking, right? Oh, you're something to be so calm about it. I'm surprised you can joke around after just waking up here like this. All right, enough fooling around. I'll just tell you again. My name is Orion. You remember, right? I'm gonna be your spirit partner from now on. So let's get going. Now then. We're going to talk about family first, right? Hearing information from your family would fill in the blanks in your memories. The only problem is... Uh, looks like you live here in this place all by yourself. Uh, while you were sleeping, I took a look around. Looks to me like your place is a studio apartment. Nice lighting, large storage space, separate bathroom, indoor laundry. The building's not too old. There's an intercom with a monitor. And from this button here, I'd say your apartment unit has its own auto lock and code. Looks like the security's pretty A+. Just judging from your appearance, you seem to be of either high school or college age. Problem is, you have no relatives nearby to talk to. I don't know if you're just living alone for now or if you're all alone in this world. How does it feel when you look around your room? Do you remember anything? Nope. I see. Guess it couldn't really be that easy. You're sleeping alone with pajamas on, so it's pretty clear you're in your own apartment and that this is your room. For now, why don't you look around the room, like in your drawers and stuff? I can't touch the human world, so I haven't been able to check in there. What I was able to figure out looking around was that you live alone, and it's sometime in August. See? Your calendar's at August right now. For August, the weather's actually pretty nice. Anyway, see if you can search your room for any clues. Oh, I have to hit them? It's the bed you were just sleeping in. Even though you were just sleeping, it's so neat. Now that I think of it, you instinctively made your bed as soon as you woke up, huh? Pen, stationary, envelopes. Uh, nothing here to tell us what kind of person you were. Hmm, nothing that looks like an album. If there were pictures, they could trigger some strong memories. The rest just looks like a lot of difficult books. Basic psychology, current clinical psychology. Were you studying psychology for school? Were you working on an essay? Oh, a notebook. Let's check it out later. Hmm, it's full of empty snack boxes. Typical. You know, no offense, but these hats look kind of out of season. It's August. I think you should have more summer hats. Is it just me? Just random stuff here. Not much to see. Hmm, what's this in the back? Oh, it's just a girly comic book. You don't gotta hide this. Be proud of who you are. Shut up, you murderer. You were sleeping with the air conditioner on. That's why it feels so nice in here. Makes sense. Hey! Here's your school ID! Alright, this should tell us a lot of information. Looks like your name was exactly as you remembered it after all. Also, you're a college student, first year psychology major. Your school's address is here too. Looks like you'll be able to keep going to school for now. Wait, it's August, so it's summer break. Huh? Even though I'm a spirit, I know a lot about when schools are on break. Pretty knowledgeable about human life, huh? Wait, that means... Aw, oh, we're so lucky! You're free this month! 
We might get your memories back before you're exposed to other people's cruelty and greed. Meeting more people might help you remember, but it'd also be easier to get tricked, so... It's really lucky you can move around during summer break like this. Let's shoot for the end of the month. You're still saying that? Listen, if you keep being so naive, you'll be tricked by some terrible human sooner than you think. 99% of the human race thinks of nothing but satisfying their own greed. I've heard lots of scary stories from someone who's visited the human world before, too. So don't let your guard down. Don't let yourself get tricked, you know? Okay, then. Let's see. Ah, oh, a cell phone! This is it. The ultimate source of info. Let's check what's in it. You might remember something from your phone history. Of course you're scared. You have no idea what could be on here. But be brave. It's necessary in order to get your memories back. Oh, new info already! Looks like today's August 1st. See? It's displayed on the screen. Okay, we have an entire month of summer break. Dope. Dope, sick, sick, dope. August 1st! Alright, let's look through your contact. Maybe you have some family members' phone numbers in here. If that fails, you could look through old messages to see who you got along with. Whoa! What is this? You got a call already! You haven't even looked yet! The Ixter. Wait a second. You weren't gonna answer that, were you? I know I've said this many times before, but... If the other person has bad intentions, you can't let on that you have amnesia! For example, maybe the person had a one-sided love toward you, and gave you a lot of trouble, or... Uh, don't you have the ability right now to believe what anyone tells you at this point? What if you needed to stay far away from this guy? You gotta find more information. Act carefully so that you're not in any danger. Oh right, your phone's ringing. Is it still ringing? What's going on? Oh, it seems like this person is pretty determined. Let's wait another minute, just in case. Looks like the caller's named EQ. Uh, is this a nickname? Is it a real name? Is this a guy or a girl or... Oh, if it's a nickname, it's probably a friend or somebody from school. This is nerve-wracking. Maybe we should answer it? We might get some info. Oh! Uh, you finally answered. Is me. You have the day off work today too, right? Are you free? You want to go somewhere? Where do you want to go? Let's relax today. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. It's already awkward enough to have a conversation. Now he wants to go somewhere? What are we gonna do? I have plenty of time. You can pick wherever you want. Oh, that's not the point. We don't care about the place. You worked up the courage to answer your phone in the first place, so we could at least share some details about your relationship. How you guys met, what your feelings are. Is that too much to ask for? God, why can't you just talk about this stuff? Ah! Oh, this is bad. Uh, just try to make conversation. Where do you want to go? Wherever you want. You want to see movie or come over here. Oh, but if you are going to come to my place, you had better be prepared. Uh, prepared for what? I am kidding. Don't get quiet all of a sudden. I really don't mind where we go for date. I just want to see you. A date? Are you guys lovers? Do you touch butts? Ah, the suspense. Wait, might be too early to think about that. What should we do? Maybe we, it would be best to meet him, or... If he's your boyfriend, he could make for a strong ally in this. For now, you should hide the fact that you have no memories. See if he's someone trustworthy. Uh, easier said than done, I guess. You don't even know how you used to talk to him before. At the very least, he seems to be someone who's older than you. Although that's just the feeling I get. But if he is, are you the type to speak respectfully, respectfully to your seniors? Maybe call him Ixter, I bet he'd like that. Yeah, you wouldn't know. I guess it's time to take a swing. Just go with your gut. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, I feel like I think... I think Yal Go went bad last time. I think I was. I think he's implied in our last playthrough that I was always a bit more like, sh not strict. That's not the right word, but more proper, right? Good. Yes. All right, this is good. I was getting nervous. You were being so quiet. Anyway, I will be all over in about thirty minutes. Get ready. Okay. Looks like your instinct was right. Okay, first hurdle has been cleared. Second hurdle will be going on a date with a guy you don't recognize, trying to get him to disclose some important information. Difficulty level sort of spiked pretty hard between these two. This is absurd. 
We already decided to go, so there's no point in overthinking it. It's better to act than worry all day. All oh, right, you should check your message log before going on that date. Be useful to see what kind of conversations you've had with this EQ guy. Why do you not have a single text here on your phone? No call history? Ugh. Wow, now that we're looking through the data, the only thing in here is EQ. Why on earth would something like this happen? Oh, maybe you broke your old phone and bought a new one. You might have dropped it in water or stepped on it or something. That would explain the situation. Yeah, maybe that's it. Talk about bad timing. It means the only clue you have right now is that you know a guy named EQ. You have no memories. You don't know who your family is. The only data you have at this point is that you're possible is your as your and your. Oh, I'm so confused. This kind of feels like the beginning of a horror movie, more like suspense movie. Uh. Anyway, it's a pretty tough situation, but we gotta try to find hints, get changed quick, and go on that date. We won't know anything until we meet him. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time that I get stood up. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck, Exter? Looks like 30 minutes went by while you were getting dressed. Oh, I'm getting so nervous. He's not coming. Uh, what an asshole. Make me wait over an hour. Are you being stood up? Why is he leaving a girl waiting around like this? He hasn't even contacted you. Hold on. Maybe you always meet up outside. In that case, you'd be the one keeping him waiting. I don't know. Maybe you should go? Aw, oh, it's so cold. What the shit? Why is it so cold outside? Isn't it August? August is supposed to be summer. Temperatures like autumn or winter, it's way too cold. Definitely not short sleeves weather. You'll catch a cold like this. Put on something warmer before you go outside. Okay. Show me all them ladies on his butt. Them ladies on his butt. Them ladies on his butt. So this is the area around your apartment building. Seems like a quiet neighborhood. Huh? What is that? There's a crowd over there. Is there like a street performance or something? Ixter. <laughs> Come on, Iki, don't say things like that. You should stay here longer. You should ditch that old girlfriend of yours. Let's have fun, oh my god. I said today is no good. I have plans. Don't say that. <laughs> Icky, does that mean you'll have fun with us some other time? Of course, if I have time, that is. Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez, so loud. What's with that suspicious looking guy? What's with those clothes? Like, have some respect for yourself, you know? Oh my gosh, he must be a pop star. Oh, but, kind of an entertainment fanboy myself. I never heard the name Icky. Wait. Iki? Oh! I get it now! Iki must be an abbreviation of the name EQ! Then that means he's the EQ? Oh, what a douche. Anyway, I need to be going now. My girlfriend will wait for me as long as she needs to, but it will get dark at this rate. Oh my gosh, you'll have so much fun with us sometime though, right? Do you promise? Do you promise? Yes, yes, I got it. Oh, just break up with your girlfriend. She's the worst. It's <laughs> my favorite Orion face. Uh, I must be wrong. Yeah, I'm definitely wrong. Let's go back to the room. Let's try giving that EQ guy's number a call. It's possible the real EQ will be like, a robber in a panda suit hijacks my train, so I'm running late. Yeah, yeah, you just need to contact the real EQ. It's definitely not that douchebag. It's gotten pretty quiet. I can't hear the fuss outside anymore. Still, that guy out there sure was, he was sure he sure was something. I didn't think pitch, pitch, picture perfect playboys like that guy existed outside of romance novels and TV dramas. 
If a guy like that was your boyfriend, there's no way you could talk to him about your amnesia. The moment he found out about it, he'd probably try to take you home with him and do all sorts of touchy stuff. He'd fill you with lies, and it'd be really convenient for him and do all sorts of things I can't even mention. But, on the off chance he was your boyfriend, what would you do? Oh, this might be a good chance to break up with him! Or would you still want to try dating him for a while? <laughs> That's right. Of course you'd want to break up. Obviously. After we get as much information as we can out of him, you should try to find a peaceful way to let him down easy. Well, it's not like we know that that guy is actually your boyfriend, though. Huh? Oh, was that the doorbell? I think so. Look, there's an image on the intercom on- No! It's me. Sorry, I ran into trouble. I am downstairs. Can you come outside? He really was EQ. But what does he mean he ran into trouble? We saw everything! Seriously wondering why you were even going out with this guy. Boo! Oh well, guess you should just go outside or something. Ugh, gross. Ah, oh, Fart Lily, over here. I am sorry for making you wait so long. I thought I would be fine, so I took off my sunglasses, but it was careless of me. I ended up causing a huge fuss. Well, they are gone now at least, so let's go. What? He makes you wait for over 30 minutes, floors with a bunch of girls, and this is the apology? This? If I could actually touch humans, I'd totally whack the back of this guy's dumb, dumb, stupid butt head. <sighs> Seeing how things are, it's pretty certain now this guy's uh, your boyfriend. Issue is, I was this guy who already has a girlfriend surrounded by so many other girls. Alright, maybe you should complain to him and set things straight. Are you coming? What, are you mad? I feel that I... <laughs> God, I don't know. I don't know if it would behoove me to... I'm trying to think back on what we learned about Fart Lily from before. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with my last answer. What, are you jealous? This is unusual. It's not a bad feeling, though. But it would be kind of mean of me to be too harsh. They don't have bad intentions. They don't have bad intentions? They're telling you to break up with Fart Lily, you dumb! You big dumb! Alright, how about this? I will honor any request you have for me now to make up for it. Ask me anything. If there's something you want, I can get it for you. Although, I would prefer if it was of a sexier nature. Somehow, though, I doubt you would make such a request. Fart Lily. So, look into my eyes. What do you want me to do? I will do anything you ask of me. Hey, I am looking into your eyes from such a close distance and you think nothing of it. <laughs> no, we know. We know what we should think. You're too close, man. I suppose you really are innocent. Well, I guess that means you feel some romantic tension around me at least. I really do want to get closer to you, you know. Oh well. I wasn't expecting this to work on you after all this time anyway. Let us go. Does a movie sound fine? Oh. Read the atmosphere and ducked out. Sorry, I, pe I peaced. I peaced out. Are you okay? Were you scared being talked to by, like, a guy that you don't know and having him all up in your grill? Now that you think about it, I realize that might spell some trouble for us. Could it be possible you two, you know, like, t t touch, touch, but uh, uh. Well, in that case, there's a possibility he might ask you to spend the night after your date today. Oh. <laughs> I mean, but don't worry. I'll think of a hundred excuses for you to get out of something like that if it ever happened. But this really is a just-in-case sort of measure. If you actually consented to spending that kind of time with him, I won't get in the way. Even though we're usually connected, I can cut our shared feelings if I need to. I won't watch or listen to anything, so don't worry. With all that's going on, I doubt you have the time or the desire to do those sorts of things right now. But it doesn't seem like we'll find any other sources of information besides him for, you know, a hot minute. I'm sure you're scared not knowing about what's happening, but don't worry. Only you can see me. I'll always be by your side. You don't have to say anything. I'll hear you if you just think really loud. For now, you should just try talking to him. Do your best to not arouse suspicion. That was our problem last time, guys. Can we just- can we just be real for a second here? Like... <laughs> we aroused so much suspicion constantly. <laughs> just for the lols and it turned out bad. 
Uh, I'm sure he's got a lot of details about your lost memories and your daily life. It's also a chance to see whether or not this guy is someone you can actually trust. But probably not, because all them bitches. All them bitches on his booty. Hmm, there are a lot of people out today. In a way, that makes it seem warmer. I seriously wonder what is up with this cold. This is not normal temperature for August. Oh, so it really is August. The difference in climate is seriously weird. I am sure a lot of people are getting sick. What is going on? And are you okay? You have been quiet. You seem different from usual. Oh, he finally said it! He's looking suspicious! It's okay. You can always get through things like this with a smile! Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine! It's fine if you are okay, but let me know if you don't feel well. Give me your bag. Let me at least help you with that. Ah, fooled him! All according to plan! Uh, oh, that was nerve-wracking. There's so much adrenaline running through me. It'd be bad if every conversation were like this, but we need to get through it. Your fate is on the line here. You gotta keep your lost memories a secret. It'd be perfect if we could just trust this guy and tell him all about it, but I guess that way of thinking is naive. Ten minutes later. Nobody is watching anymore. I'm finally able to look at your face normal. I'm worried you think I have ulterior motives taking you to a dark place like this all the time. But if I ever take off my sunglasses, it attracts such a huge crowd I cannot move. It's been difficult doing anything where it's lights out. I know I've said this many times, but I'm not doing this for any inappropriate reason. I just don't want anybody seeing my face. So people gather around him when he takes off his sunglasses? I guess he definitely is famous. Is he a model or an actor or something else? I don't know. A magician? I'm sorry, I know my condition is always setting the restrictions. Restrictions for us. He's actually Count Dracula. Condition? But if it is this dark, I doubt anyone will be able to look at my eyes. So let us just relax and watch the movie. I know it is a ridiculous condition, but it's also a nice excuse to be able to spend time with you like this. It would be even better if these eyes worked on you too. But I guess I can't have everything. You like me because they don't work on me, you poop. Be honest with your feels, Ixter. Wait a minute, I don't get what he means. You said before you wanted to see this movie. We were lucky it wasn't sold out. Hey, don't change the topic. What about that condition stuff? What kind of condition would cause girls to gather around you when you take off your sun -glees? It Seems like you already knew about this condition, so it'd be suspicious if you asked. We'll try to get some details later on. For now, let's just watch the movie. Let's watch that sweet, sweet flick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's already getting easy. He's already getting late. If we don't get home soon, it might be hard to get up for work tomorrow. Wait, already? We haven't been able to ask anything because we were in a movie. Did he say work? There's work tomorrow for who? For him? You? For uh? What is with that look? You want to spend more time together? I doubt it. I don't expect to hear you say something so upfront and honest. Right, did you think of something you wanted from me for being late earlier? Oh, right, I forgot about that. Thought of anything? Uh, I didn't think so. You can't just say something like, tell me about our relationship. <laughs> for now, the biggest bone on our plate is this work stuff. You should probably ask about that. Well, ask me anything. Uh... Walk you in the morning. I don't mind doing that. Both of us have a shift tomorrow anyway. This is really unusual. You want to be around me that much. It's not really the case. Every time he says, this is unusual, I'm like, oh no! Did I do a thing that's suspicious? But I feel like asking, do I have work tomorrow, would have been way more suspicious, right? Like, obviously I would know if I had work tomorrow. You both have a shift? From the way he said it, sounds like you work at the same place. I will come pick you up tomorrow. I'll call you when I get there, so come downstairs when you're ready. But you really have been acting strange today. Make sure you get some rest when you get home. Let's go. I'll hold your bag. Uh-oh. Huh! <sighs> Good work. You managed to get through it. Anyway, it looks like he's going with you to work tomorrow, so... If you can depend on him a little bit. He seems like a playboy, but he's not as bad as I thought. He was actually really nice to you. Although he might have ulterior motives. 
If he's this considerate of you, though, might end up being a good person to talk to. But I seriously wonder why he was surrounded by all those girls. What about that condition stuff, huh? Thought he was a celebrity or something, but it seems like he's just a normal guy working a job with a college girl. Whoa! You got a message. Sorry for being late today. I'll visit again when I have time. P peace out. He texts you right after a date, huh? Maybe devotion is just part of being a popular guy. So how will you reply? Uh... Okay, anytime... Last, last time we played, anytime I was like, Thanks, or do you like me? He was like, what are... What? <laughs> he like... That, I think that that was one of the things that constantly made him confused. Like, that was very unlike me to... I don't know, be so demure about our time together, so... I'll try that. Okay, that should be fine. Oh, an email. It's from an address you don't have recorded in your contacts list. Where's today's daily report? Oh, daily report? Could it be a daily report for work? Maybe you forgot to write it yesterday. Well, you can always do something like that tomorrow. Just sleep today. You're tired. But thanks to your hard work, you managed to uncover some important information, huh? Yeah, if you keep this up, you'll be able to find someone you can trust, and your memories will come back, too. You only just started. Do your best at work tomorrow. Uh, oh, I can't wait to check our standings so far and do a quick save. Like a, like a smart, like a smart girl. August the 2nd. <gasps> wait. Okay. It's all in the middle still. I assume it starts in the middle. So, so your relationship is favor towards the chosen character. Okay. Cool. We should be, wait, we should be good. 